So last week we launched a weather balloon into near space. Uh, we reached about 83,000 feet. Our goal was to reach 110,000 feet, but some years that just doesn't happen. Um, and we send experiments to near space to see what will happen with a change in pressure and a change in temperature. We had a team of nine fifth graders who helped us with the launch and helped us with the experiments and will then be analyzing all of the data next week that we retrieved from our Stratostar company. So we just worked on the experiments, like getting ready for it to go up in the sky. We made sure everything was tight on the payload. We made everything was secured. And we just had to like make it secure that it can go up in space and we don't have to have, to big, we don't have, to have a big deal up there. I learned that um, if you have like a cap on something, um, because of the air pressure, it will pop off. Depending on how high it gets, it could, uh, the, looks, they're like color scented like markers. They have smell and see if the smell's still there when it comes back down. We're checking if, the, if a squishy ball would pop um, when it's in the space. I love science. It's quite a prestigious position for the kids and it means a lot to them to be on the near space balloon launch team. Well, I've never got to do it before. This is my first time. So like it's a very big deal for me. And I feel very happy that I finally get to be a part of it. I was excited and also nervous, but I got through it. It is very exciting because I love it how every single kid is into it and it, they're excited about the balloon launch going up into near space and coming back down because of the experiments we put on there. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. Let go. I was beyond proud of my students and their professionalism and their attention to detail and their responsibility. I just really like the experiments and how they turn out. Science interested in science before this, but this was like a huge boost of like love of my love of science. Keep track of what we did today in your brain forever, because this does not happen all the time, okay? Easter is on three. Easter is on three. One, two, three. Easter!